Good afternoon and welcome to La Mama. I am Denise Greber and I'm here with Federico Restrepo. How are we, you? How? We are very, very happy to be here at this La Mama Kids. We have been working really hard these past three months with a wonderful group of artists from Sirovich Senior Center. Um, we, uh, we, are, we are presenting their work after a three month online Zoom workshop doing uh, creating toy theater puppetry. So the theme of today is nostalgia and love. We wanted to have a kind of happy, uh, uplifting uh, theme so that people you know, could kind of break away from this pandemic, this COVID mode. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, turn this over to video and please stick around right after the show. We are gonna gather with all of the artists that created these beautiful uh, toy theater presentations that you're about to see. We have 11 little three to four minute pieces that we hope you enjoy. Spring celebration in Russian woods. Folk tale characters are invited. 
Once upon a time, in spring of the most ferocious year of 2021, revival came into wild forests of the Russian kingdom. Primavera brought joyous rebirth to all inhabitants, wild beasts and men alike. Excitedly, they climbed out of burrows, crawled out of huts, flew out of nests. The gorgeous Vasilisa from the royal castle came to unveil the most spectacular ball by invitation only. It is my honor to announce the arrival of the most revered Mishka the Bear from Grand Woods. Please welcome another guest, Madam Goat. Certain restrictions apply to her. She is not to nibble on guests' attire and decor. Next, just flew in Signora Crow, the famous gossiper, a spy of Russian countryside. I am happy to introduce now the known flirt, the foxy lady, with her bushy tail and red boots. The highlight of our spring ball, made special by none other than Duchess the Firebird. And here she is, mesmerizing all with her feather works. But between us, a little secret I'll reveal of this flaming bird, so high and mighty. She really rose from the chicken dynasty, and under her brilliant exterior, chicken feathers hide. A word of warning to the firebird. Be careful not to singe guests' tails and fur. The last, but not least, Baba Yaga, the witch herself, honors us with her visitation. She does promise not to put spells on anyone.
after a few months of lockdown, what did I miss most? Landmark events, like birthday parties? No. I miss chatting face to face in the same room or close space with a friend the most, seeing expressions and not worrying that Zoom would freeze. To cope, I did rely on nostalgia of old movies. Old TV shows. But most of all, I cooked new and different dishes. This was nostalgia for restaurants for sure. As the months wore on, life was getting surreal. I was nostalgic for people who respected science and each other. It was as if we were in a nightmare version of the dark ages. Walking in Inwood Park was my favorite way to clear my head until one day. As I walked, a young blonde man suddenly appeared and started spitting across the path where I was about to walk. I stopped and backed away, but didn't dare say anything. How, why did he do that? He disappeared as quickly as he had appeared, but he had not been a figment of my imagination. I continued, not so merrily, on my way. People can't flourish living only in the haze of nostalgia. And then we got, ta-da! Many personalities around the world had themselves photographed while they are being vaccinated to encourage others. I didn't need to see famous people getting vaccinated. I knew I wanted to get vaccinated. But I also realized that I was having trouble changing my lockdown behavior. One month or more after vaccination, I decided to call a friend. When she came over, it was great to see her, but we were both a little tentative. Then we settled in and talked. And suddenly, we became more animated and relaxed. It was awesome, and I knew that I had now new memories for future nostalgia. me to the moon and let me swim among the stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars in other words hold my hand in other words darling Kiss me, fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Find me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. 
In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I. Growing up in Holland in the 1950s, we didn't have a car, so we walked or rode our bikes everywhere. Sundays, we always did something special as a family. In the fall, we would go into the woods to collect edible mushrooms and chestnuts. Our parents had taught us at a very young age which berries, nuts, and mushrooms were safe to eat and which ones not to touch. We also learned the names of many plants, flowers, trees, and animals and always had fun identifying them. We would ride our bicycles to the outskirts of our village into the open fields, meadows and farmlands to reach, to reach the woods. There was a farm on the way where we often stopped to visit the animals. There were cows, horses, pigs, sheep, chickens and even a loud rooster. Sometimes on the way home we would stop and buy fresh fruits and vegetables and eggs from the farmer's wife. We had our spot in the woods where we would find our favorite yellow mushrooms called chanterelles. We spread our blanket and our mother would unpack her bag with snacks and drinks. My younger sister and I could not wait to start searching for the mushrooms. Our older brother and father started looking for chestnuts. We would take them home and roast them on our potbelly stove. We would only pick the larger mushrooms and leave the smaller ones to mature for another time. We also collected other types of nuts, like acorns, beech nuts, and pine cones. And once we got home, we used wooden matchsticks, toothpicks, and feathers to make little dolls and animals with them. Meanwhile, our mother would clean the mushrooms and slice them up together with onions, herbs, and other vegetables to make a delicious, nourishing soup. The fresh air had made us hungry and we couldn't wait to be called to the table to enjoy a great bowl of mushroom soup. We always gave thanks for another great day and a great meal with our family. Luis, I'll miss you. Have a safe trip.
Don't forget to call me and tell me about the women you meet in New York City. Goodbye, Mama. I, I'll call you when I go to the Jose's. I love you so much, my son. We'll FaceTime very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching LaGuardia Airport. Prepare for descent. It is 3 p.m. New York time. We will be arriving in approximately 10 minutes. Fasten your seat belts and prepare for landing. And welcome to New York. Children, I will teach you a song I wrote about my country. Con ella fui feliz junto a la arena. Cuando el mar hizo un silencio de los dos, sabe al beso de su risa y de mis penas. No sé lo que perdí o lo que gané, solo sé que se llama Venezuela. Y de noche es el sol bajo mi pie. Una canción o un jardín. Su tierra. No sé si lo viví o si lo soñé, solo sé que es Venezuela y es extraño, es el suelo fugaz bajo mis pies. Father, a father-in-law, a grandfather, and met my 
seven-year-old child who became a woman in a nanosecond. On that day, my minced heart was finally exposed. During those 28 years, you visited a pet adoption center seeking to adopt a female cat. Suddenly, a beckoning meow came from a wire cage. When that cage was opened, a blonde-haired cat scurried to you. The cat found me. Upon receiving the adoption papers, she was pre-named Fergus. Thirteen years later, Fergus passed due to cancer. You were with a minced heart to have Fergus put down. I will never adopt the another pet again. Since that day, ten years ago, I bear hug my daughter and say, I love you. We are out on a limb when love is in the wind and Sparrow is fighting Sparrow with tree climbers shaking. Leaf is blossoming grief as an ocean is in every tear while each sea is bellowing sails of tales children sing. Roots and wings, leaf and grief Blossoms and sparrows, we all fall down.
Good morning, sunflower. Hello, bird. Oh, oh, sunflower. Sunflower. Look. There are more of them. Those buildings are getting taller. Oh, bird. Sunflower. They'll hide the sun. You have to go. But where? How? Oh, sunflower. I wish you could fly. Oh, bird. Oh, it's c cold here. I need more sun. I think I'm catching a choo. Oh my. A choo. Oh, oh, look. Oh, look at me. Oh, bird. Whoa, oh, bird. Sunflower, sunf sunflower, 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 where are you? Bird, bird, look over here. Where? Here, I'm in the garden. Oh. Oh, I'm coming now. I'm coming right to you, to the garden. Sunflower. How? How? Tell me how. Oh, bird, they flew just like you. If only you had leaves. When he was 40 years old, Franz Kafka, who never married and had no children, wandered through a park in Berlin when he met a little girl who was crying because she had lost her favorite doll. She and Kafka looked for the doll with no luck. Kafka asked her to meet him there the next day, and he would help her look for the doll again. On the next day, when they had not yet found the doll, Kafka gave the girl a letter written by the doll, saying, Please, don't cry. I took a trip to see the world. I'll write to you about my adventures.
And that's the beginning of a story that lasted until Kafka's last days. During the time they spent together, Kafka would read the letters written by the doll about her adventures, and the girl found these conversations adorable. Finally, Kafka brought back the doll. He had bought one that had returned to Berlin. It doesn't look like my doll at all, the girl said. Kafka gave her another letter in which the doll wrote, My travels have changed me. The little girl gave the doll a big hug and happily brought it home. A year later, Kafka died. Many years later, the now adult girl found a letter inside the doll. In the tiny letter signed by Kafka, it was written, Everything you love will probably be lost, but in the end, love will return in another way. Please, uh, I'd love to ask that all the participants join us in this moment. Everyone, turn on your cameras. Come and take your bow. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Wow, it was it was so touching to watch them yet again and and in in this order and to see everything. Uh, huge congratulations to all of you. It was a tremendous amount of work that you all put in, uh, in somewhat difficult circumstances, being that we were all doing this in this same, this very same platform. We were doing all of this through Zoom over um, a little bit, about almost three months, uh, meeting weekly as groups, and then also meeting uh, weekly, sometimes one-on-one uh, -on -one working singularly with each participant, helping them to uh, make their, their toy theater show. Uh, Federico conceived of the idea and uh, I guess he can talk a little bit about, about how um, he, uh, how we did it, how we, um, you know, the, the steps behind it. Basically, Federico made very excited. All the toy theaters he made yeah. about uh, make it, uh, a small black box theater made of a cardboard box and we give it to everyone. Um, that's the beginning of the inspiration of how to create these beautiful shows. And so yeah, along with the boxes, we, we made uh, a package for every single participant and the package contained a the box itself, the black box, um, some rods and sticks and paper. cardboard and paper and colors, col uh, colored pencils and rulers and uh, what else did we throw in those blue sticks? I think a knife, <laughs> Not a cutting knife. <laughs> so um, so yeah, and then we actually we hand delivered every package to everyone that you see here, and then we got to our meetings and to working. So. Um, the result is incredible. Yeah, I mean it's so beautiful. Each piece is so much detail in the work of everyone, and so unique. And I'm so proud to meet all of you and to have this opportunity to do this work with everyone. Yeah, this has been beautiful. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have a relationship with the Sirovich Senior Center, which is how Local Seven met everyone that is here in this room. For the past, I think, six or so years, Federico uh, has been going to the Senior Center and actually doing these uh, performance-based workshops over a, a period of months with a, with a final presentation at the Sirovich Center in their theater space that they have there. But the last two sessions um, have had to be on Zoom. Last uh, last year, we, we started in person at the Sirovich Center in February, but 
in March, we had to pack up and, and not, none of us were allowed to go back to the space. Um, and then we were sitting here for a few weeks saying, oh my goodness, we have to figure something out. We can't just drop that project. We have to figure out how to do it. So we contacted everyone that was in that workshop and most, most of which are here with us right now and uh, said, let's try this. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know how to do it, but let's figure it out. So that, and that's what we did. And so it was a little bit easier to start this project having had that experience. Um, yeah. But uh, enough of Are me we, talking. You want to say anything? Well, I was going to turn. Hopefully, it to we're going to go back. Yes. And meet again. In yes. Person. Apparently, they're opening senior centers again, and um, of course, with the utmost care and caution, we hope to return in space with all of you and be able to to uh, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier or or not. Well, we have to make we have to cha always challenge ourselves. We like that, and we appreciate the fact that you all are always in for the challenge. You know, we we meet you and we make you create a show. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it takes a uh, it takes a lot of talent and courage and creativity to to be able to do that. So again, I congratulate you all so much. You did you always astound me, truly. But anyone want to say something? Any one of you want to I would say love to thank the two of okay. you so much because of all the things you've done. And at the very last minute, you pulled me through with my whole program. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, this isn't easy. This is, this is a, and it's a learning experience for all of us. So it's great. It's great to learn how, and it, it's great to see that no matter what, we can figure it out. And, and it's, you know, nothing, uh, it's impossible, I think. And I it's think. a process that we all learn together because it's the first time we do it, so. It's been incredible. Anyone else want to chime in or? Thank you for sharing your skills and talents with us. You're welcome. Well, you're welcome. And we're, we're happy to do it. And we're, you know, it's, this is a, a going on a six year relationship with most of you. And we have a couple, actually, most, mostly yeah. everyone here has done uh, workshops with Loco7. We actually have two people that are here in this Zoom that were uh, that were that came to us in this process for the first time. That's uh, Chuck and Maria. Maria. Yeah. And uh, so very courageous. You didn't know us. You just heard about us. You just you know by word of mouth from a uh -huh. fellow artist here in this uh, in this discussion. Yes. Well, thank uh, you so and much. You took the leap. Yeah. You took the yeah. leap. So mm -hmm. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It's great to know you. Thank you. It was a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's very in, invigorating and uh, deep. I don't know how to say it, but it's, I, I'm really excited about what I learned. And I wanted to say thank you very much. Yeah, me too. I would like to say thank you. Even though I can I, I can um, open the video, uh, the voice, I have to congratulate each one, the wonderful wonderful artwork in each one of the projects. So I I send a big hug to each one. Thank you so much. And I thank awesome. you to Denise and 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 uh, the master the fairy. Thank you so much. <laughs> a little I, uh, thank you. I just want to thank you both also for your encouragement and the little push that we sometimes needed <laughs> and a couple of bumps we had to get over, but thank you so much. And it was a great experience. And it was a lot of fun too, especially to see the end result of everybody. Great yeah. work, congratulations yeah. to all. <laughs> yes, congratulations to everybody. No, I've, I'm amazed. I mean, for me watching this, like, you know, for the audience or the people who are still watching and listening to us, we came up with a theme. So we basically, uh, Federico and I sent an email with a, a chunky paragraph um, of what we thought the idea was. You know, long story short, something we said, let's deal with nostalgia. Let's deal with themes of love. Um, let's try to think about, and it could be real or imagined is one of the things we said. It doesn't have to have been something that you actually went through. It could be something that you might have fantasized or imagined could be, a, a, a way of speaking about love or 
adoration or about perseverance. So with that in mind, each one of you uh, created what you created. And it's so uniquely different one from the other. And so, but yet so connected to what, what the, um, the assignment was ultimately. So it's really fascinating actually. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much um, for Denise and Federico for, for this. And, and it's like, basically, we were all given a black box. And so <laughs> and, and, and that's basically what happens. So out of the black box and some sticks and pencils, that's what happened. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I, I want to say that uh, this um, pandemic time uh, was much one well, easier, lighter to get through with concentrating on uh, our uh, creativity rather than on the bad side of things. So it, you helped us get through this harsh period, you know, with with our imaginative, creative processes. You know, that's a big, big thing, and one really appreciates that. Well, and it's the same for well, us. I mean, yeah, same. It was actually, it was one of the first things that we thought like a year ago when we when we did the first one and we got back in touch with everyone. We're like, I just can't sit here in this house and not feel okay. connected to human beings. So you were our first. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So everybody is the winner. <laughs> we're all winners. Thanks yeah. to you and each other, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, Ruth, did you want to say something? I think you. I just, this was, except for Jesse's, which had been a wonderful um, appetizer. <laughs> I hadn't seen it. it. That was one thing about not working um, in, in 3D with people. The surprise of seeing how beautiful they were, or how much fun they were. Um, was it, I'm sort of overwhelmed that it, and and I'm very glad that it all you know they're all here and we can share it together. So at least that part we could share the ending. A lot of the creativity was because of the pandemic isolated. So it was nice to at least see the the fruits of it together. Yeah, it's true. The difference to now be all together in one room and created and and see the process of everyone close to each other is, is completely a different type of work, but I'm, I'm very happy with the result. It's incredible. Yeah. So, and I hope that we'll get together at the center and soon. be able Stay. to show it over there. Maybe if they open, we have the opportunity to show again the whole work. And shake hands <laughs> and hug each other. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again. I want to echo what Ruth saying that that I think it's not just a surprise to see so wonderful, so many wonderful work, but also I hope I think Denise and Federico must be like parents because I felt like I have a family of brothers and sisters, and we grew through the five six years that everybody's work has got gone more sophisticated, more imaginative, and just everything about it. So I'm so I'm so, I'm so impressed myself. <laughs> so thank no. You. You know, this kind of uh, atmosphere and uh, methods and production show that seniors do have young minds. Yes. And creative minds. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. that's what this is all about. You know, it's like, you know, just because your um, age is a number, and but we still are thriving human beings that we want to express our creativity and we want to share. So absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We are seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> it's a okay. lovely way of putting it. <laughs> All right. Well, if anyone wants to say anything else, or I mean, you know, we have a, some people, we have different platforms where people are watching. So I just want to say that you got a lot of likes and loves on Facebook. And we got um, someone Thank you, everybody. You know, saying uh, congratulations. So, um, uh, you have you, you can't hear the audience, but I'm sure they're clapping really loud for you guys. So uh, congratulations on great work. And I look forward to uh, trying to figure out how we can show this again. Maybe somehow, maybe we can, maybe we'll get in touch with Sirovich and we could uh, do a, a screening. And uh, 
for anyone who um, who missed this of your friends and they want they want they can you know this is on the La Mama website for 24 hours. It's free. You can go anytime to the La Mama website and watch it or tell your friends if you if if you want to watch it again for the people who just uh, are joining us or if you came late. You can still catch the beginning. If you had to leave early, you don't hear me. So, <laughs> but you know, that's how it is. So again, thank you. Congratulations. I, I do, do look forward to seeing all of you very soon in person um, and certainly working with you again in the future as we continue to grow together. <laughs>